Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's Dawn here. So today I'm just waiting for my resin to finish pouring out. We're going to make these elephants. Now, our lovely Denise, she did purchase one of these elephants for me, um, which is absolutely beautiful. My friend had it and it was, yeah, it was just absolutely gorgeous. She fell in love with it, so she's bought me it, um, asking if I would do her one, which I said yes. Now, I've already done one. Um, here he is, but he's got some glitter on his head. So I thought I'll do another one. But then I discovered there's two other molds to this um, particular elephant, which I didn't realize. Um, and I bought them. And I'm gonna hopefully produce three beautiful elephants. I've got a feeling though that um, I may need some more resin. I don't think there's going to be enough here. Um, so we shall see. We shall see. Um, but yeah, we are going to um, create three um, elephants. Now I have got some, I've got my archival ink, but I've got the... Um, some mica powder in charcoal grey and spray grey which I think actually will be a little bit nicer and more true to um more true to an elephant right let me I have a, a phone stand right next to my um what do you call it that's pinned on to where I film and that it's brilliant for holding the jars for me. So I'm going to move that over there. And what we're going to do is we're just going to mix this. Now it needs a good five minutes uh, mixing because it is the full lot. There is links in my description box. I just buy the cheapest one I can off um, Amazon. It's around £16. Um, and I honestly, guys, like, yeah, I think there's so much better quality resins out there. But m unfortunately, my budget doesn't stretch that far um so i just go on and i tend to buy the cheapest ones to um so yeah and then if they've got offers on i tend to stock up um so that i have it because i really enjoy resin but one thing i will say is resin is a very very expensive hobby <laughs> very very expensive now i am getting bubbles in this but that is fine um we will use our heat chill uh to get those bubbles out but um yeah so today's plan is just to um, fill up these moulds. I have got a spare mould just in case I go over. And it's this little house mould which I'm loving. Um, I bought it a few weeks ago. Um, and I thought how nice would that be as um, key rings. Or even if you did them really thin as embellishments for cards. Um, you know like a new home card. So, yeah, I was like really, really, really liked it. So, um, just going to keep stirring this, making sure to do my sides. Um, now, I've started using these spatulas. Again, get them really cheap and get them from Pound Shop, Amazon, do them, eBay, uh, Home Bargains, B&M. Um, um, and I find that they're really, really good. They get all the, the sides and everything off. Um, and because they're silicon, they're easy to clean up as well. So I'm just going to add in some space grey. Um, and I'm going to add about that much. And then I'm going to add some of the charcoal grey as well. So I'm going to have a mix of the two. Although the, the more or less look very similar. So I have put quite a bit in. Um, we may need more, but we shall see what happens when... Um, we mix it all up because I don't really want it to be see-through oh that looks lovely okay so I'm just gonna get all the way around and get all that color off the sides and mix into that resin just like so and I am looking at it thinking that we may need just a touch more um, so yeah I thought I would surprise Denise and send her all three of them um, as a thank you so I hope she likes them <laughs> um, she'll have received these actually before um, this video goes up so I will already know 
um, so it, it's a shame because these didn't turn up her birthday is the same day as my daughter's um, and I wished I wished these had turned up they actually turned up on my daughter's birthday um, so I wish that um, they had turned up in time because then um, I could have sent to them as a birthday gift so I'm just going to put a belated birthday card in um, but yeah how how weird is that same same day as my daughter um, so I won't I won't be forgetting that one right okay I think this is lovely and mixed um, but I'm going to just keep going anyway just for uh, just another good stirs like you say I'm just trying to get it all mixed in lovely so we have got some colour on the side so I'm just going to use my spatula and really get in there and get that off and I'm just going to have a look at it on my spatula and actually you can't really see through it so I think I think with the right colour now like I said I've got a feeling we're not going to have enough here um, so I might have to make up another batch but we shall see we shall see right okay so that's nice and mixed uh, she says still mixing but you want to make sure with your resin that they are mixed beautifully now it is on a tray um and the reason why it's on a tray is so that i can transport it into the house so i'm not going to fill it up to the top because i just want to give it a good squidge like so make sure there's no air bubbles in there at all and then we'll top it up okay there's that one and let's do so i have no idea how these ones are going to turn out because they are new to me so okay so again i'm going to really squish in there make sure to get any bubbles out like so and then we're going to fill it up like that yeah i think uh, we will need some more okay and then the final one i don't think there's quite enough in here to cover it so i'm going to need just a touch more which is fine let's just give this a good squidge like so and then i'm going to put the rest in actually oh look at that like literally just a tiny tiny amount um yeah and i don't think I mean the good thing about the spatula is it does get every little bit of resin out but I just don't think it's gonna be quite enough so I will make up a small batch um, as well okay yeah when it's about half a centimeter from the top on that so I had a feeling it wasn't going to be enough right okay so there's that so uh, let me get some more resin out let me just uh, top that up um i'm going to top them up and then i think what we'll do is we'll come back and unmold it and see what these gorgeous pieces look like so i will see you in a second right okay it is the next day um i did make up some more black and i filled up the whole of this as well because i just wanted to see what they would look like so um we'll leave the elephants to last um let's do these houses um so let's take these out first now they are in black um but I quite like them actually. That one, they've got quite a few holes, and uh, not holes, bubbles, but that's fine. I really like these. Yeah, I can see them, if I was to do them a lot thinner, I can see them being embellishments on cards. I think that would look really nice. But these would work lovely as a keyring, um, you know, to put your house keys on. 
so I think that would be quite cool oh I like them um, and like you said they're only black because um, that's the colour I was using and I just wanted to see what this I like that one with the hearts on uh, what this mould was like um, what I would probably do is actually colour in like the windows and things uh, just so that they stand out but I'm really really liking those really liking them so yeah really pleased with how um with that mold um and got lots of ideas for it as well so i think that would be quite fun to do you know what i think what i should have done with them i missed a trick didn't i um what i should have done is actually put on um some chameleon powders on the inside i think that would have looked amazing now let's have a look i'm trying to see if i can find the one that our lovely right this one so this is the one that denise sent so this is the one she wanted so let's open this up and thankfully these are super soft molds so it makes them so much easier oh he looks gorgeous okay so that's the one that she wanted so i do need to go around with my deburring tool um, which I do have hanging up um, so that I don't lose it so just to take off that that edge because um, it is quite sharp so um, and we don't want a sharp edge obviously but how cute is he he is gorgeous yeah oh, that feels instantly better so these you can get off Amazon um, and they're, they're quite cheap. If I remember rightly, I will leave a link in the description box below. But our lovely Denise got me this one because I was constantly losing mine. Um, and since she got this one, I know exactly where my other one is. So it just means I have spare. Right, okay. Just get there. There we are. Okay, so that is our first little elephant how beautiful is he so then just put all those bits in there um we're gonna go with the other two elephants we've got a little bit of a bubble there but that's fine um oh my goodness oh you're so cute oh look at him so I think it's he is no evil, see no evil, and speak no evil. That's what I think it is, but he is so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Oh, I hope she likes him. So yeah, I am gonna send her this full set. Um yeah. Although I don't know, I don't think it is because I don't quite go, but I just thought the full set of them were gorgeous. I would love to get some in the shop. Um, but as of when I will, I don't know yet. Um, but, oh my goodness, look. Oh, he is beautiful. So again, I need, just need to get rid of this bottom bit. Um, so that it doesn't catch. But yeah, oh my goodness, he is absolutely stunning. All of them are stunning. I don't know which one's my favourite. I think, actually, he, he's probably my favourite. If I put them like that, then you guys can see them. Um, just absolutely beautiful. Um, I love these molds. Right, I will try and remember to leave a link to them in the description box. So you can get them off Amazon, which is where I got my two from. I don't know where... Denise got hers from she, uh, actually yes I do she did say that they all came from Amazon as well so Amazon is definitely a good place but I'm just trying to keep my husband in a job so <laughs> that's my excuse for shopping there all the time anyway um so just gonna get rid like you say we don't want I don't want to send this sh sharp because I'm hoping to send these out in the next day or two well hopefully actually there's no reason why i couldn't send them both out today to her oh i can't wait for her to get them i really can't right okay so there they all are there is our three elephants and what we're here for today 
Are they just so cute? Oh my goodness, I love them. I want a full set for myself now. So I do actually have, well, I've got three of these now. Uh, so one of them will be going in the shop, but I do have two of these myself. Um, they're just stunning. My friend, uh, Rachel, she was the one who actually bought the mold. So she got it first and then Denise had seen it. So she'd bought me one um, and she used it for soap and I just fell in love with it. So... I did borrow it and what was really funny was my friend took her, her mould back the day that my, um, that Denise sent this so that was so so nice. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this, um, this little video and I will catch you guys in another video very soon. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, but until then please do take care and happy crafting. Bye.